This is not their home. They may live here. They may eat here. They may put their children to sleep here. But this is not their home. The Lumad consist of several ethnic groups in Mindanao. They account for roughly 2.1 million of the Filipino population. What determines their culture or ethnicity? Is it their traditional wear? Is it the fact that they are non-Christian and non-Islam? Is it their ancient songs and stories passed on from one generation to the next? Or is it an intimate connection with land? Only the Lumad can understand. The Lumad are the country's uncolonized people. Driven away from their settlements by Spanish colonizers some 500 years ago, the Lumad moved to the mountains to preserve their way of life. Part of their tradition is to defend their land and their tribe. Ornaments adorn their best warriors and leaders. So how did it come to this? How did the Lumad reach this state of deprivation and want? Why are they being killed off one by one? And what do the Lumad really want? Like each and every one of us, the Lumad of Mindanao only want their home. Their home is their land. This was true 500 years ago, and it is still true today. Without their land, there will be no Lumad. Their ancestors understood this well when they fought the early colonizers. Today, the Lumad fight recolonization by mining companies that bring ruin to their lands. The survival of most tribes rests solely on their resistance to the mines, as well as other projects that cause land grabbing and plunder of natural resources. These companies, with government support, can be very powerful. So some Lumad join the new people's army to fight. But for the majority who are civilians, defending their lands means just staying there and organizing their communities, setting up their own schools to educate their children, teaching them the most valuable lesson they learned from their ancestors, that land is life, that life without land is not a life worth living. We may feed them. We may put a temporary roof above their heads. We may even give their children new books to read. But unless we truly understand the threats that they are facing, we cannot simply tell them where to go. To go back home while the military and paramilitary Lumad killers still freely roam is to face sure death to go elsewhere that is not home is to face extinction. So let us bring the Lumad home by supporting their struggle to defend their home. By supporting their struggle for land. <laughs> 